Do you ever watch Toronto Raptors game and see Scotty struggle at times? Oh my god! He because he broke oh my god. <laughs> Scotty Barnes will play for the Toronto Raptors this in his second year and Barnes where we understand he did it up and down here as a sophomore player. Players that have had this slump before, like look at Jason Tatum, he didn't make a jump till his third season, so everyone can think Scotty can take this jump and I believe he can. But here's why at Toronto Raptors, they have to be patient with their rookie in the making. The first point I have to make here is Scotty Barnes has the potential to be the Raptors' best player at a young age as we've seen in some notable games. The first game I can throw at you here is the game he had a career high against the Lakers last year on March 10th. We all know Scotty Barnes growing up, his greatest idol was LeBron James, and he never failed to shine when the lights are the brightest. He played against LeBron James and the Lakers at home a year ago, and he broke his career high and had a monster game versus the legend himself. At home, he scored 31 points, 17 rebounds on March the 19th of 2022. Then next year into this season, a year later, the same goes on. As Scotty Barnes then goes to LA, he then scores 30 points again and almost carries back the Raptors team after being down 20 points and the Raptors lost that game on March 11th of this year. It's seen here that Scotty Barnes can easily take over a game at times with his height and the way he sees the game. Sometimes Scotty Barnes this season he'll play horrible in quarters 1-3 to three, and in the fourth quarter he'll just basically light the roof off a of place. I like competition, I like when the game's on the line, uh, I feel like I focus, lock in a little bit more. The next point here for Scotty Barnes has to make is his development in the playmaking department. I know many people are mentioning that Scotty has fallen off a bit from his rookie of the year campaign, but overall the playmaker, he's gotten a bit better. He changed the way he played the game. At the beginning of the season, he went from shooting above 50% from the three-point line and having a good catch and shoot percentage to his three-point percentage dipping down a little bit below 30%, which is at 28.6 where it stands right now. On basketball index, he's made the best jump by far from his rookie season in the playmaking category as he allows in that metric. My explanation on this here is Scotty has always been a playmaker and not more of a shooter. It's really something the rappers have to be patient on. Don't rush a rookie into being a number one option and let him have moments where he messes up, he struggles at times, or even plays well as that will make him better. Look at guys in the NBA right now like Jason Tatum, Trey Young, who are the league's best. Were they always consistent? No, they didn't even make a jump toward their second or third year as a player. As for Scotty Barnes' development in his playmaking arsenal that's truly been amazing, we will soon see it come into all areas and tie into his game, as that's not all I worry about as he's not in his prime yet. But appreciate the good times we had with him and all his lapses and good moments as a player, and all players like this have struggles in their good moments as a player. All these moments of frustration that you had with Scotty will soon turn him into the player the Raptors want as their franchise cornerstone. I hope you enjoyed the video on why the Raptors need to be pitched with Scotty Barnes, and that's the video on today's take. And like and follow for more as we're on the road to 200 subscribers, and that's the video for today.